Hey guys, today I'm very happy to show you this new Exciter board and this is the new version, it is the S6 Platinum it has digital audio input, analog audio input and everything you need to make a very nice sound system very cool, very compact so you can customize of course if you want very high power the Ready Master is the best but if you want to set up your own style stuff and you want to broadcast in your city drive an amplifier this is very good solution please keep in mind this is very cool so this board is fully power adjustable so you can just control the output power just by sending common line as we will see and in this uh, review we're gonna to use the i2s audio input and I will show you how to proceed <laughs> many USB to I2S converter board available on eBay. I will give you some link in the video description below. Uh, you can use also your Raspberry Pi or other kind of computer board which has I/O output. So it's very easy. You don't need but you don't need to have a sound card. Just sending the audio to the I2S, and it is very easy to use. <music> I can adjust the output power for one watt operation, for example. Here is one watt operation. I'm gonna to go again to five watt. And the power increase slowly. So there's many different kind of uh, uh, USB to I2S board available on eBay. And this one is very simple, it's the cheapest one, it's very nice. They are all based on the same, uh, on the same device, except this one, I think. And uh, as you can see, we, are, we will use, of course, the GND, which, which is the ground. And uh, we will not use this pin, but we will use this pin. LRCK, which is the left and right um, uh, clock channel. This is what this one is the data clock, and this one is the data signals. So basically, we are we are using four, three wire plus the ground, and uh, the data digital information is going to the data wire here. So this is why we have four wire and um, for example on this one you have to select I2S instead of SPDIF and uh, here you have the short connection here. So on the exciter as well you will have the uh, wire connection, you have the left and right uh, clock signals, you have the data clock signals and the data wire which is right SDEN. So as you can see guys, we are running now the exciters with the digital audio input and uh, this is pretty cool and uh, yeah, the board heating a lot but this is totally normal uh, because we are running at uh, full power operation like 5 foot and um, so SX Platinum is nearly it's nearly based on the based on the same architectures of Radio Master except that the voltage controls later it has been made with more simple architectures to make the cost the more affordable and of course if you want to 
broadcast at very high power, like 650 watt, uh, you better have to go for Radio Master. G6 has also digital audio input because Radio Master is extremely stable. It is designed to be suited for very high power operation. The exciter is also resist to very high SWR. As you can see, I disconnect the antenna. Well, I, the receiver is just here, so that's why. And uh, of course the board will heat a lot if you put some high SWR, this is kind of dangerous, but you can do. Um, and of course, so yeah, don't be surprised if the exciter is, is coming into 60 degrees, this is normal. So the board is supply will 12 volt and has left and right audio input channel, RXTX and uh, digital audio input. Music